The plot opens in Jaffna, where a bus full of passengers is stopped by armed men and all are massacred. Uddharan. The film then moves to a bearded man in Kasoli, revealed to be Vikram Singh. He sees on TV that the Sri Lanka president has been killed by a suicide bomber. He purchases a bottle of liquor and goes to a nearby church. The priest of that church, who seems to have known him for the past three years, asks him about his conspiracy, when he says, our prime minister could have been saved from the conspiracy. Vikram starts narrating his story to the priest. The film then moves five years back, when the continuous battle between the Sri Lanka military forces and Tamil militant groups had reached a dangerous level. The Tamil youth have taken weapons and joined the Liberation Tamil Front. LTF Leader Anna Bhaskaran A character based on the real-life LTTE leader Velupillai Prabhakaran The Indian Prime Minister Sanjay Gurubaksani decides to sign a peace accord with Sri Lanka government and said that the elections should happen there peacefully before Diwali. However, Anna refuses to accept the accord, and the Indian peacekeeping forces are forced to withdraw from the island. A heated meeting in New Delhi between the Indian officials leads Robin Dutt, a.k.a. R.D., the R&A.W. chief, to call upon his best man, Maj, Vikram Singh, Uddharan, after meeting and discussing the strategy with R.D. and his deputy Swaroop, Avijit Dutt. Vikram travels to Sri Lanka and meets a war correspondent Jaya Sahani and tries to find out a way to stop the rebels. After reporting to his senior Balakrishnan, based on real-life person K.V. Unni Krishnan, he tries to find someone who may help to find Sri, the only man who can withstand and oppose Anna. After meeting with an informer called Narayanan, Vikram manages to visit Sri. Vikram promises Shri to help him rise against Anna by providing him with arms. The arms deal date is decided at the 6th of July. However, the deal goes terribly wrong. And one of Vikram's associates is killed in a surprise attack by LTF. Who do away with the weapons consignment. An angry Balakrishnan tells Vikram to go to Colombo safe house. Vikram meets Jaya to seek her help. Jaya tells him that they know his next step even before he can implement it. However, she tells him that, a foreign agency guy met with an Indian official, before her arrival on The Island. The next day, Vasu, Balakrishnan's associate, meets a man and gives him a photo of Vikram, telling him, to keep him alive. Uddharan. Meanwhile, R.D. and his team are shocked to learn on TV that Vikram is kidnapped by LTF. The Indian government sends forces and rescues Vikram, who is badly injured. Balakrishnan tells him to leave Sri Lanka as he is on the hit list of both camps. Vikram feels suspicious about Balakrishnan. He calls SP, one of his associates, and tells him to report all activities of Balakrishnan to him. Vikram Posing as a war correspondent, manages to reach Malaya, based on real-life LTTE member Gopalaswami Mahendra Raja, second in command of Anna and persuades him to meet R.D. in Colombo. R.D. tells him that the only way this war could be won is by a political solution. He instigates Malaya to stand up as the only champion of his people, thus dividing the LTF in two. Vikram and Indian forces then launch a massive attack on the LTF base camp where Anna and his men, minus Malaya, were discussing strategy. A devastating gun battle begins, and Vikram returns home. However, Anna survives and later kills Malaya and Shri. In the light of the resurfaced violence, the Indian Prime Minister resigns. Some months later, SP later tracks some discussion of Anna over the phone and tells Balakrishnan about this. But Bala tells him to ignore them, causing SP to believe that Balakrishnan might be a mole. He escapes with the intercepts and files of the case. 
Balakrishnan finds about it and burns the remaining papers. Later telling someone over the phone that SP and Vikram are in Kochi and he should send some men. There, Vikram later receives a call from SP, who tells him to meet him. After meeting with SP, Vikram comes home to find Ruby, his wife, murdered. Vikram's associate in Kochi, Kush, tells him that Vasu has been tracked. He nabs Vasu from a theater and asks him what he knows. Vasu tells him that indeed Balakrishnan was a leak. And he was helping him along with a person named Reed from Singapore. Vikram calls Jaya and requests her to use her sources. She agrees to help and later consoles Vikram about his wife. As told by Jaya, Vikram reaches Bangkok, where a source of Jaya, D. Bang, tells him that he has a tape. Vikram is shocked to see that Balakrishnan was honey-trapped, forcing him to divulge all the information about their movements. Balakrishnan later commits suicide by shooting himself. Back in Delhi, R and A W had decoded the intercepts and had also found out about Balakrishnan's fake passports and unknown bank accounts. R D realizes that this might be a code red to assassinate the ex prime minister. He asks Vikram to take care of this and tells his team to seal the coastline. A massive manhunt begins, and hundreds of LTF associates are nabbed by Indian security forces and local cops. In the Madras R and AW office, Arjun, an officer, tracks down the conversation of Vijay and Joseph, a bomb maker, and Anna and tells this to Rishi, Tarun Bali. Rishi tells this to Vikram and further says that Kannan Kanan, an associate of Anna's man Kanda, is in Madurai jail and might be helpful. Kannan reveals that some suspicious refugees came from the island to Tamil Nadu. After a short but important meeting with Jaya, Vikram sees X on a clock at the airport and deduces that the LTF is going to assassinate the XPM. On the same day at XPM, Raat ke das baje, R.D. then calls the XPM to cancel his rally. But he replies that he'll be alright. Vikram then manages to catch Vijayan from his hideout. Who tells that the refugees are going to assassinate the XPM with plastic explosives. Which are untraceable to metal detectors. Uddharan Chin. Vikram rushes to the place where the XPM is taking part in the rally. He reaches there nearly on time. But the suicide bomber manages to put the wreath on the neck of the XPM. And while bowing down, she pulls the trigger and kills him along with herself and many others. Vikram manages to recover but sits there dejected and defeated. Later, Vikram submits his report on the assassination to the investigation committee. Who considers his report? A few days later, R.D. too resigns, and Vikram, after taking voluntary retirement, comes to Kasoli, Uddharan. The film comes back to the present, where the priest asks Vikram who won the battle. Vikram says he doesn't, t know. But in this battle, the Indians lost their prime minister, and the Sri Lankans lost their future. He later walks away, reciting the lines of, where the mind is without fear. He completes another report and sends it to Jaya in London, who starts her work on that report. In Kasoli, Vikram moves out of the house he was living in. Uddharan, an epilogue tells that the civil war continued for 26 years, killing more than 40,000 Sri Lanka subjects, 30,000 Tamil militants, 21,000 Sri Lanka forces and 1,200 Indian forces. And still thousands of Lanka Tamils are homeless. In 2009, Sri Lanka forces launched an aerial and land attack. Finishing the rebels along with their leader, Uddharan.